meet you at the Hungarian Cultural Institute at the opening ceremony of the Ernie Horvath exhibition. Excellency Mudanid ja Herrat, mulla on hea meil tervitada teid siin Hungarian Institutis, Ernie Horvath fotonaidise avamise. Ernie Horvath, our guest from Hungary, Ernie Horvath, meie külaline Hungaris, aga enne ma annan sõna Sándor Mózesile, but first I give the floor to Sándor Mózes, Charge Affair from Hungarian Embassy. Nice to see you. I try to be very focused, that's why I put my thoughts to paper. So, ladies and gentlemen, we have gathered today to open a photo exhibition of outstanding Hungarian photographer Erne Horvath, an artist who is here today with us. The exhibition is organized by the Hungarian Institute in Tallinn, hosted by its director, my distinguished colleague, Gyula David. The artist's works are dedicated to historical events of the end of the 20th century and uh, the 20th anniversary of which we celebrate this year all over Europe and by the entire democratic world. Let me recall some of the main turning points of, the, of that year. The Hungarian government organized a major international commemoration of the anniversary of the symbolic cutting of the Iron Curtain in late June this year. Then, the Hungarian-Austrian Pan-European picnic was held on uh, 19th of August uh, 1989, where the border was opened for several hours and where that same afternoon over 600 East German citizens made their way through the open fence and entered the free world. The mere fact that over 600 people were able to break out from the section of Germany fenced off with a wall, with barbed wire and with a command to fire on all who attempt to flee and to reach the section of Germany that was free deserves commemoration. Commemorating the Hungarian-Austrian Pan-European picnic of 19th of August of this year, a sculpture was inaugurated at the new spiritual European Schengen border between Hungary and Austria. The following words are engraved on the pedestal of the sculpture. An enslaved people opened <coughs> their doors to allow another enslaved people to cross to freedom. While this is true, we need to add that the people who made this freedom possible were themselves on the road to freedom. Around this year we are commemorating the 20th anniversary of many historical events concerning the historical changes in many countries, among them in Central and Eastern Europe. The change in Hungary's political regime also took place two decades ago. The Berlin Wall was breached 20 years ago. The countries of Central and Eastern Europe returned to Europe and 20 years ago was when Europe initiated a new phase of unification that included the reunification of Germany and integration of the new democracies. True enough, the cutting of the actual barbed wire and the pan-European picnic organized by civil organizations were linked in a chain of events, Europe-wide in scale, happenings that confirmed the political and moral performance of the Hungarian government of that time, just as it did that of the picnic participants. So we had every right to be proud when remembering these events. In fact, we might even feel that daring actions are rewarded, that virtue wins recompense, and there is justice in the course of history. Remembering those August events of 1989, paying tribute to all who were active participants of and contributors to those political changes, I would like to give the floor to Mr. Erne Horvath, the artist, whose photos give an insight for the future generations to look at the events connected to that great turning point of world history. So, Mr. Erne Horvath, uh, who was at that time, in the right time, in the right place, you have the floor. Thank you.